Okay, so here's what a 440,000 volt lightning strike looks like. So there's one strike, and then here's a CD for anybody old enough to still use those and know what they are. So do a zap for a CD. And hold it over here in the light, you can see the little bites that took out of it. So if we do that with one zap, we can do a series of zaps. That one's erased well enough that even the NSA could read the data off of it. <laughs> put this light just a little farther away so it's not blinding me. Well, if you notice how the arc tracks something that's conductive, and the aluminum layer of the CD is conductive, so pencil leads are conductive, so there's right, the number two pencil. And since this title of the show is Musical Marks Generator, we to have to play a tune for that. So if you notice on that one how the arc tracks around with the shortest path, so when the pencil is in there and it's conductive, that makes a shorter path for the, the electricity to go. And I got my pencil a little bit toasty. So another thing we do, do with it, here's, here's a mylar balloon. Now mylar doesn't connect electricity, but mylar balloons are coated there's a thin layer of aluminum along with a coloring paint. So the aluminum will conduct electricity. And I need to find an appropriate song for that one.
Christy Hector, posted on my name. Now, if you notice the, you notice the yellow color around the arch for the hot dog. That yellow actually wasn't fire. That's the coloring from the sodium. The hot dogs are very salty, so the sodium vaporizes and then ionizes. And sodium, when it's ionized, glows yellow. And that's used in low pressure sodium vapor lights. Gives them yellow color. Well, other metal salts will glow in different colors. This is strontium. That's the red that's used in a lot of fireworks, as well as in rope flares. I guess it's a piece of cotton that's on a holder and soaked in scrunchium salt. And we'll find this one for that one. That's the Yeah. 